Zach, you're going to tackle DJ. All right, we're going to try and make a form tackle, an idealistic situation tackle. Biggest thing that we want to see you do is keep your feet underneath you. Get as close to DJ as possible. Sink your hips. Keep your chest up. Keep your chin up. See exactly what you're going to hit. When the tackle starts, you'll, you'll thrust your hips forward. You'll rip your arms. You'll grab cloth, and you'll drive your feet forward. Here we go. On one, set, hit. Good. Now, if we take a look here, the best part of this tackle was that Zach got very close to DJ. He was able to get lower than DJ. He keeps his chin up. He sees exactly what he's trying to hit. He makes a tackle with his shoulder pads. He brings his hips forward. He brings his arms forward. And then he drives on contact with a little bit of cloth in his hands, uh, keeping the head out of the tackle and using his body to make the tackle. A couple of things that we always want to try and stress to our players not to do when trying to make a tackle. One thing would be if, if Zach is going to tackle DJ, we don't want to have Zach's head down. We don't ever want to use the helmet as a weapon. We don't want the helmet to come into him in any way, shape, or form. A second thing would be using the helmet as a weapon or having any sort of helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. So we don't want his helmet coming into him in any way, shape, or form if we can handle it. And we especially don't want the crown of his helmet to come into DJ if possible as well. Uh, finally, uh, the, we always want to try and have our feet in good position. We want to be able to get close to the tackler. Uh, we want to be able to uh, put our bodies in good position. And if, if at all possible, we want to get our full body onto their body to ensure that it, it, the tackle's making place. We're not lunging, we're not diving uh, when possible, uh, even though that may happen from time to time.